Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are joining us on the Roller Derby City track for this afternoon's bout, which is going to be between Team USA and Team Wales. I am Snoogins, and I am here with... Statman, and we're ready for this afternoon's bout. USA 1-0, Wales have yet to play today. I am so ready for this bout. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Def As you will recall earlier today, uh, USA played Finland. That's right. And they believe, I believe it was 318 to nothing. Jeez. Wow, that was a hell of a score. So if Wales can put one point up, they're yeah. right in their in second place in their group. Absolutely. Now back on the jammer line, we've got Ben Phillips up against Jonathan R. You will, of course, remember that this, this game will run for the full 30 minutes. There, there will be no clock stoppage for team timeouts or official timeouts. The clock will continue to run, and that is jam on. And both of them fighting their way through. It seems like the USA wall was stopping their own jammer as much as the Welshman. And lead jam goes to Jonathan Rocky of Team USA. Roll call there giving him chase but had to let off. Phillips there being recycled to the back of the pack. Coming into contact with Roll Call who was just stopping him ever so slightly. And there it is John R getting a natural grand slam five point pass. And it looks like we had a cut track penalty on one of the blockers for Team Wales, Jenkins. And he will, of course, spend one minute serving that penalty in the quad skate shop bo penalty box. You know, based on Team USA's earlier performance, I think this is going to be a pattern we see time and time again. Absolutely. Phillips still yet to make his initial pass. Uh, Jonathan R. racking up those points on those natural Grand Slam passes. Well, and Wales are going to need to play really clever because USA are going to make mistakes and give them opportunities. They're just going to need to be ready for those opportunities immediately with no warning. Phillips very nearly making his way out of the pack there and being reconsumed by that two wall at the front. Oh, nice take out there. James, number nine, and... Ben is out of scoring, but no, he's been sent to the penalty box for an out of play call. So this one will start as a power jam, Team USA. And it looks like it's Frank not so Hatra on the jammer line. USA going in with a sweep from the outside, unsuccessful. Frank does manage to break through on the outside though, getting lead jammer status. Oh, nice attempted take out there by Mr. Clark, unable to quite connect wholly. And he has of course been goated at the back there by that USA two wall, unsuccessful in breaking through to join his Welsh teammates. That's Frank coming up against that Welsh wall right at the front. That is a solid wall. No pack call means they have to let him go. Well, USA there seem to choose both strategies, having the GOAT on the one case and having an offensive blocker at the other. Frank there calling off the jam as the jammer stands in the box, meaning that USA will start again with a power jam. And it's Corey Porter, or Prime as you may know him, um, up to jam now for USA. Just over 26 minutes left of it um, to go with this, and it's USA 25, Wales nothing so far. And this next jam is brought to you by Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. You can find them on the web at fastgirlskates.com. All right, and that's a quick lead jam there for Team USA, right through that Welsh three wall. Pivot Quadzilla controlling his team and making sure they recycle back as far as possible. He's an excellent leader in that kind of capacity, isn't he? He's, he's so vocal, you can hear him. I mean, we've got our headsets on and hear him a mile off. Well, and he's both vocal and demonstrative. His yeah. gestures are perfectly clear. Oh. He almost saved it. His skate just tapped out of bounds on the infield. Wow, that was 
That was so, so close. That was some beautiful footwork by Phillips. Just, just cut track just there. Absolutely. And he almost couldn't help putting a skate back in inbounds. Absolutely. I think he did two turns to try to save yeah. that one. Hayes and Longworth at the front doing a nice job of holding back the USA jammer. Beautiful hit takes him off. Recycle back. Wales seeming to get into a rhythm now. They're obviously still not scoring any points. Jammer in the box, but their wall seems to be working a little better. There's more communication happening. Absolutely. Quadzilla went in there to try to break up that Wales wall, and it would not let itself be broken. Power jam there, moving USA up to 43 to nothing. Next Jam brought to you by Grin Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit us today at GrinMonster.com. Number four, just the tip coming up for USA to jam now. And of course, it's a solo jam as the Welsh jammer is still in the penalty box. The Welsh wall is coming out very strong, still holding that jammer back. Absolutely. A little bit of goading, though, to try to contain the pack. And they've chosen to goat one of the more combative skaters for Wales, 79, the mechanic, who battled his way out of it quite well. A mechanic also, of course, head coach for women's team Wales going That's over to right. Dallas uh, end of this year in December. Oh. Phillips back on track, but being sent off once more for a cut track penalty. So it looks like the power jam is going to continue for USA. Teammates telling him that he's out of bounds. So rather than crawl back, go ahead and kill that and start a new jam with Jonathan R. Both teams seem, seem to favor that back line. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Our jammer line is, our pivot line, my apologies, is still sponsored by GBEMS. They are here to look after us this weekend. Skater, official, anything. They are here for any medical needs you require. And there's lead jam for Team USA behind Jonathan R. Some really tight wall work from USA. Um, my apologies from Wales just there. Yes, although they picked up a multiplayer block on that wall. Sometimes it's worth it to keep that wall tight. Absolutely. Malatinsky there going to the quad skate shop penalty box. Another five point pass for Jonathan R. Likes to call it off with uh, Ben standing there in the penalty box. Wales, one of those countries that elected to go with their uh, legal names, many of them did. We're seeing that more and more, especially in the international game. Yeah, it, it always throws me off because there's a couple of the Welsh guys that I know under their derby names, and <laughs> I see them here. and I'm like, that, that's not your name. That's no, come totally on. totally throwing me off. And it looks like now we've got on the jammer line, uh, Frank Natsohatra is returning. USA with a pack advantage, one Wales blocker in the box. And they're doing the recycle to make sure Ben has to start as far back as possible. So now it looks like the start of a traditional jam, although the pack just inverted itself. Welsh wall ending up behind the USA wall for a second there. And Frank there picking up a natural grand slam. Ben Phillips back on track. Oh, USA in shambles. Little hop there. Frank not so hot to through. Easy grand slam. Made it look gorgeous, didn't he? That was beautiful. I do love a little apex jump. Oh, of course. Wales walling up real tight at the back there. Taking him out off track. Nice move to the front, too, to make sure that wall. Yeah. 17, Jenkins calling for a penalty. None was called. 
Nice. Beautiful, beautiful hit by Malatatsky. Yep. Let's his jammer through. Phillips is out and scoring. Of course, it's called off immediately, but now Wales can start a jam with a jammer on the line. Yeah. You can see the look on his face as he came off track. Melitescu was very happy with that. Oh, absolutely. Brummy favorite Truck Rogers up to jam for Team Wales right now. I heard that chant for him. Yeah. A lot of love for Truck in the, in the uh, ring today. And he'll be up against Corey Porter. Both of them. Porter trying to shove his way through that Wales wall, which will not be split. Oh, little hop, skip, and a jump, but he is just tapped out of bounds. Somebody got whistled, and it's the Wales jammer. It's a clockwise block. So that is indeed a power jam for Porter. Still yet to just, as I say, just makes his initial pass. <laughs> Always the jinx. way. Yep. So he's now on his way to the quad skate shop penalty box. Porter now coming up against that wall. Roll call getting in there with a nice deep shoulder. Some fancy footwork by Porter. Sees him get through Ooh. on the inside. Beautiful work. Roll call chasing him. Has to give up the chase. There's always that fine line between wanting to give that chase and making sure you're back in that wall Absolutely. for the next pass. Well, and the crowd is not too loud, so you can hear the referee say out of play. Yeah. There's some venues where you don't have that opportunity. Absolutely. I've, I've been at a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> They're so much fun, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so USA still on the power jam. And this next jam will be brought to you by the MRW, MRDWC Instagram. Look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are, and they might make it onto the stream Sunday. How awesome would that be? I know. Uh, just the tip up now to jam on this power jam for USA. Truck Rogers still in the box from the previous jam. Oh, nice move up the inside. Creighton Griffiths being an immovable force, walling up tightly with his uh, cohorts. Oh, that was close. Yep. That was real close. One foot on the inside as he came round the inside. And uh, here comes Truck Rogers. He was guided right into a USA two wall. That was brilliant defense. Forced to recycle. Big hit there to make himself some space. Truck Rogers up in his toe steps, running around. Unfortunately getting called for another cut track penalty. These guys in Team USA, they are so quick and fast on their feet, they can do exactly what they need to do to make you cut that track. Absolutely. It's been a bit of a change to the last update on the points. Uh, Wales still on zero, USA now on 103. And this next jam brought to you by the MRDA. The Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in growing this world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Jonathan R. breaking through there for lead jammer. Of course, still on a power jam. Truck Rogers still in the box. Nice quick trip up the outside there for Jonathan R. Using his lateral skates in there to control his speed, making sure that he's not going into the back of the pack. You don't want to incur any back block penalties or forearms or anything like that. Absolutely. That's the last thing USA want to do right now is uh, give up a power jam. Well, and USA have committed zero jammer penalties this entire tournament so far. Jonathan R getting up on his toe stops as he come around the inside. And just demonstrating how talented of a skater he is, that he knew exactly where that line was. So his skate went over it, but never grounded while it was out of bounds. You, you can tell just from 
even snippets of bouts like this, how hard and how frequently these guys must train Absolutely. To, to know just the, the width of the track and how much space they do have. That, exactly. Next up on the jammer line, we've got number nine, Frank Natsuhatra for Team USA. And the Welsh jammer is standing. Number 25, Truck Rogers. And there's the cue. The Welsh tried to form a solid wall, but it was bracketed by Team USA. Now the Welsh jammer's back in. Truck Rogers, he may be small, but he is a powerful jammer. Taking a massive hit there. Recovers very quickly. Truck Rogers didn't ground himself out of bounds, so he could get right back up. Absolutely. Team USA tried to recycle him and there, and he could have made him pay for it. Didn't get that opportunity with one last blocker. Frank there at the back of the pack, acting as a, a little bit of a fifth blocker. Yes. Um, walling up with his teammates, really making Truck work so much harder than, uh, than he wants to. And then give, buying time for the rest of his teammates to get back into the play. And uh, I'd like to say hello to Fueled by Compassion watching this game at home. Thanks for the Instagram photo. See the MRDWC Instagram working well so far. I, I cannot wait to see all these photos that are coming through. I know, it's going to be amazing. There's another Grand Slam for Frank Nasohatra. Truck got a solid two walls, massive slam into his chest. The crowd in-house are going absolutely insane for Truck Rogers. Man Waring being sent to the quad skate shot penalty box for a skating out of bounds major, meaning Wales are now down one blocker. And Truck Rogers returning to the box, I believe also for a skating out of bounds penalty. Another power jam for Team USA. That's right. Wales down two skaters, as you said, with Truck Rogers and Mannering both in the box. Wales putting up three pretty solid looking blockers. Uh, if you had to choose a short wall for Wales, that's probably your choice right there. Oh, yeah. And who's on the jammer line now for USA? That's Corey Porter. All right, number 11 taking on number nine, gets through lead jam status to USA. Becker doing a real nice job. He's, I've noticed him a couple of times standing on that outside line and basically just clearing the space for his jammer to get round in that initial pass. Oh, what a great wall. What a great wall there by uh, James Clark holding Porter one on one and just making him barely able to skate forward for what, about three to five seconds? Team Wales doing really well right now, managing to engage the Team USA blockers, creating a bit of a pack, pack speed, um, and making just making work so much harder than they than they really think they need to be. On a power jam, you don't want you really don't want to be moving that pack too much. It's exactly. Just make the jammer work more. And the Wales blockers are actually doing a pretty good job of forcing that pack to move. All right, and that jam's called off. So Wales starting the next one. Is that at full strength? Certainly looks that way. First time in a little while we've seen that quad skate shot penalty box empty. Absolutely. This next jam is brought to you by, well, us, technically. Yeah. Because we're the ones bringing it to you. So if you're enjoying listening or watching, drop us a few quid, dollars, Zloty, Aussie dollars, Canadian dollars, uh, using the link on the broadcast page. And that's split between us and the team travel fund. Team Wales put a bit of muscle up to jam. They've got the mechanic with the, the uh, star panty on. Right, now he's been recycled back behind a two wall. Wales doing, tr looks like Wales are playing mostly offense. Mechanic is out. He is, of course, not lead. And he will be denied the opportunity to score. But good job fighting his way through to finish that initial pass. 
just the tip, making a scoring pass on a grand slam there, bringing it up to 162 to nothing, just under 11 minutes left of this game. Now, based on that, T Team Wales have currently done better than Finland yep. against USA. The projected final score would be just over 200. Yeah. That's why I'm stat man. <laughs> that is indeed why you're stat man. You know the stats. All right, we've got 2828 Mr. Ashton for Wales. And did you get to see who he's going up against? Um, I believe it's Jonathan R, number six. Jonathan R is your lead jammer now. Ashton with some, with some pretty quick footwork, still being recycled back. No pack call means that uh, he can jump back on track. That's Roll. right. Team Wales helping to create that no pack so that he doesn't get recycled too much. Ashton taking a massive hit there, shoulder right in the chest. Continues to power through. Well, he's, he's not going to be knocked out easily, is oh he? No. They have to work if they want to recycle him. And he's out and scoring non-lead. But there is a roar here for him. Oh, yeah. Wales have figured out how to get their jammers through now. We've seen it two jams in a row. Uh, favorite no. of mine from Team Wales up to jam now. Meredith, uh, you might know him as Yayan Man from uh, Soos. Well, of course, that is his, his first name, Yeah, Yayan. absolutely. So we've got Yayan Meredith against Frank Natsohatra back on the jammer line. That's one of those great names. It works in Welsh, and anytime you look at it, if you don't know Welsh, you have no clue what to do with that name. Absolutely. I remember seeing it last year uh, on the roster at MERDC. Yep. I was like, what is this? Well, I love it because when someone says the Welsh have no vowels, you just show them that name. Absolutely. And as we're speaking about him, he got recycled to the back of the pack. He was one skater away from lead jam status, but that skater was Quadzilla and would not let him pass. Quadzilla taking a, uh, a leaf out of the Wizards of Oz book. Yes, you shall not pass. And there's Yeyan out. He is not lead, but he is out and scoring. And Quadzilla gives the cue to his jammer who calls it off. So no points for Ye and Man this time. Yep, I, I don't think uh, Jonathan R had clocked that Meredith had made it out of the pack there. That's um, right. And it, it was, as you say, Quadzilla gave him the tip off. Well, and that's part of the way Quadzilla chooses to, to work the pivot position is he really sees himself as a coach on the track and in charge of noticing that sort of thing and calling it. 169 to 0 so far, just over eight minutes left. Roll call up now to jam for Wales. They're trying to put on some of their bigger jammers. Absolutely. And he's up against Corey Porter. And it's true. Roll, Roll call for is your lead jammer. First yeah. one to Wales. <laughs> um, because I've always wanted to say this. Roll call is your lead jammer and the crowd goes wild. Absolutely. He was striking a pose right there on turn three. And now he's going to get recycled, making sure he picks up points. He does not want to end this jam with nothing. No. The, the, the Welsh guys have worked far too hard to, uh, to not let this. He calls it off now. Two points. Two points to Wales. Um, I'm going to need some clarification. And it's a power jam. It is. <laughs> you, you saw it too. Um, <laughs> wow. I've got goosebumps. This is insane. I know. This is the crowd is going nuts. Wales have broken the clean sheet. Mechanic back on the jammer line. So an update for you. That score now is 173 to USA, two to Wales. Um, Wales now have a power jam. Um, USA blocker being sent to the box at the last second for a cut track penalty. The mechanic up to jam now, coming up right face to face, nose to nose with Quadzilla. That's right. He's going to have to work super hard to get through that wall, especially now that Wales have a pivot being forced to recycle forward. There's a no-pack called. There's lead jam to Mechanic. But now he's gotten called for blocking out of play. Out of that, after that out of play was called, he threw a shoulder block. And that's a blocking out of play penalty. The Mechanic, of course, will only serve the same amount of time um, that Porter served in the box, so it's not necessarily going to be a full minute. It's probably only going to be about 20 seconds. I think that's about right. And of course, Jam will run for the full two minute as we have no lead jammer. 
Wales certainly looking more bolstered now. They're, they're, they've tasted a bit of a yes. success. <laughs> and you, you can see them, they're hungry for it. Well, and they've broken the, shout, the, the shutout. Yeah. Those two points were absolutely huge. If Wales had a national venue, I could just imagine a, a plaque on the wall. Oh, most definitely. The two points. Or that, a thy point in Welsh. Here comes the mechanic, one to beat. Wow. But got leveled out of bounds. James Hayes tried to set a counter block to help him out, but you can't counter block two guys at the same time. No. Uh, that, was, that was a massive hit on this corner by us here um, from Atlas that took the mechanic <laughs> off his feet. And on Twitter, they've already been called two points heard around the world. <laughs> Beautiful. And he, now, oh, Mechanic is on a scoring pass. He is. So these are going to be points. Just needs to get his hips in front of someone. Three to the Mechanic. Fantastic. Wow. Wales with a five points now on the board. USA managed to rack up a little more in that jam. 193, as we say, to five for Wales. And this next jam brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of roller derby kit and merch, and the official merch supplier here for the MRDWC. They made our lovely NSO shirts and our volunteer shirts, the announcer shirt, absolutely, and many of the team shirts as well. Yeah, um, and quite frankly, they're a lovely bunch of people. They really are. A few of the overseas teams scheduled to get their merch made here. Now we've got Luke Ashton jamming for Wales. And he's going to be, he is going to be lead jammer. Wales picking up lead on the last three consecutive jams. Just the tip being recycled there by Phillips, I believe that was. Oh. And by the looks of things, just the tip being sent to the penalty box for a back block major. That's right, Luke Ashton is solo out there. He's the only one wearing a star. He's forced to recycle, but he has points. And this is a scoring pass. Wales are charging. Some nice bridging going on from Team USA, making this, lasting this out as long as possible. And that is a natural, that, not, not a natural, that, that is, is a, a five-point Grand Slam pass for Ashton. Grand Slam for Wales. The Welsh are starting a GOAT here. They have a four-man wall on one Team USA skater to try to help Ashton through. That Ashton working hard to counter block. Apex jump from your blocker right there. Low block called on Creighton Griffiths, but nonetheless, eight points and a power jam for Wales, and the power jam is not over. This is this is amazing. Yep, Ashton called that jam. Um, still with the USA jammer in the box. Meredith and actually now still seated. Still seated. And now we've got Yay and Meredith on the jammer line. Wales now double figures, 13 points to USA's 193. USA not scored anything for the last two or three That's jams. That's right. And Wales had lead jam four jams in a row. And he's got a short, short power jam here. Not sure how short off the top of my head. But Yeyan still trying to battle his way through. The power jam is over. Yep, just the tip back on track. One to beat for Yeyan. Just the tip, also one to beat. Just the tip makes it through. Breaks that streak for Wales. He is lead jammer. Two minutes left now. Yeah, and being taken off the track and recycled back. USA showing their green thumb, recycling. Absolutely, there's, there's been a lot of eco-friendly skaters here today. Absolutely. There's another five-point pass. Natural Grand Slam for Corey Porter. <laughs> Marath there sneaking around, not quite quick enough to pick up some points on that last jam. That's right, but this next one, is it quite an empty penalty box? 
I think it may be I an think entirely it is. empty penalty box. That looks like eight blockers on the track with two jammers. And this next jam is brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Quad ah. Skate Shop, Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services only a fellow skater could provide, we've got all your needs covered. We love this game. And Apex Jump sees, I believe that is Roll Call as your lead jammer. That's right. But he cut the track. He, he disagrees with that call. I think a few of the fans disagree with that call. So this jam will last about 17 more seconds. Jonathan R looking to, oh, yep, he is out. All right, that's the conclusion of the bout. There's the final whistle. Four more points for USA to put up. Looks like. 217 USA to 13 Wales. And those 13 started by a roll call. Yep. Tell you what, they, they should be damn proud of that. Absolutely. The two, as they said on Twitter, the two points heard around the world. Most definitely. That definitely, calling that and watching that didn't feel like it was the differential that we saw on the board. Exactly. Um, that was a much closer bout, I think, than the scoreline suggested. Absolutely. And that just means that Wales, Finland this afternoon, that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, I am, I am definitely looking forward to that. And there's a crowd showing the love to Team Wales. Just saw an Unleash the Dragon sign walk by. Um, there's also a, uh, a gentleman wearing a dragon onesie. Nice. Um, I've seen people Although wearing... it's a green dragon. I'm confused by that. I think maybe that was all he could get at short notice. Fair enough. That, that's, that's reasonable. But yeah, there, there's, there's been a lot of love in the house, both for Team Wales and Team USA. Absolutely. Um, I think both teams should be really proud of how they played in that game. <laughs> that was an excellent bout. There was great skating on both teams. There was... I mean, Wales able to deal with the, the technically superior Team USA and figure out what the problems were and how to exploit them yeah. and able to win with, able to, to win double figures worth yeah. of points. Yeah, that's absolutely phenomenal. All right, so with that, right now Wales are in second place in their group. USA sitting atop the group. They're done for the day. Okay. Uh, so they will come back tomorrow as number one from the red group. And Wales will play Finland for that number two spot. Of course, with the current scores, Wales are going to be sitting in second unless Finland were to win that bout. Yes. And that's it from us, Statman. Snoogins. And we love being with you. It's been fantastic. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Goodbye.